Hi and welcome to this training module on how to develop training modules for Paycor. Seems redundant, but hey, that's the title. Today we're going to be looking at how to build out our very first module and how to access the LMS system. So at first you're going to need to sign in to Paycor, and then under Company if you have access to it, <coughs> click Manage Learning, wait for it to load, and then you're going to see that if you are an administrator and have the ability to create a course, you can. To do that, simply click Create a Course. This is where you're going to title your course. We're going to call this one How to Make a Training Module for Paycor. We'll then want to enter in a description so our users know exactly the type of course they are taking. And for fun, I'm going to add a yay in there. If we want to, we can assign reference codes to make it easier if we start growing too many of these out. And we can upload an image if we want. All of these features you can go back afterwards and edit. For instance, perhaps I don't like my description and I would like to make it more in-depth. I can go back and add that. When we're ready to move on, click Save. Now that our training module has been developed, we can start adding content to our course. In this first training module, I'll click Add Module, and you can see I have multiple ways of doing this. I could either upload just a straight video, I can click Create and select Assessment, Live Session, Embed Content, I could add a signature, Show Survey, Checklist, Links to another website, a simple page of information, something for my learner to upload, if I wanted to do, say, a check for understanding, as well as a video assessment. In this case, I am going to add embed content. To start our training session off, we need to understand how we can make, well, training. To do that, I've already created this fancy how to use Screencast-O-Matic. We'll use that one. To do that, I'm going to need to first access my video. We'll go to the video itself. And then we're going to need to take the embed iframe code out of it. Once the video loads, we're going to find that we have the ability to click share right here. By clicking share and listening to my fantastic voice of another training tutorial, we can click embed and then here we can copy the full iframe code immediately. In here, I can paste my embed text, and we can give this module a title. We'll call it How to Record Content for Your LMS Training. And in the description, we'll say, let's learn how to use Screencast-O-Matic to record training sessions. When we're finished with our module, let's click Save. And now we can see our first module is built. Now we can go in and add our other modules. In this case, I'm going to do another embed content for this very video, and we'll say how to create an LMS course in Paycor. Here I can add the description of it. We'll call this our getting started with building our modules. I don't have the embed text yet because you're watching the very video that this module is going to showcase. So I can leave that blank for now and click save. I would like this module to be the first module that anyone views and because I created it in the second position I can simply drag it up and move it ahead of how to record content for your LMS. At which point I could add another module or in this case, I want to make sure people understand some basic things. So I can start building out an assessment for you to take, which you will take at the end of this course. 
To do that, I can click assessment. I can title this building in LMS training assessment. I could add a description if I'd like to and click save. Now that I have this created, I can create my first question. I select create new question and then I can choose between several types of questions between multiple choice, keywords, free text, info page, or hotspot. Personally, I like the multiple choice to keep it simpler for learners, and it shows a general understanding of the content that they have consumed. Here I could write my question, and here I can write my answers. When I have my correct answer I would like to select, I would simply select the check mark where it says correct, and I can add multiple correct answers if you'd like to throw off your learners. If you need more spaces, you can always select add an answer. Here. At the bottom for configura configuration, you can show an answer hint if you'd like. You can select it for the answer to be correct before they can move on to the next question. Here, and I encourage you to use this one, show feedback information if answered incorrectly. This is a good way to reinforce learning if your learner has answered the question incorrectly and would like to be reminded of what that is. And if you would like to reward your user, you can say you have answered it correctly by selecting the show feedback information if answered correctly. You can also upload certain files to it, meaning you can upload videos or pictures. When we are finished, we can click save. If we would like to reorder the questions, we can select reorder questions or we can create new questions. If you would like to take time building out your modules, meaning that you start building a module or a training session, and then you would like to come back to it later to continue adding on to it, you can simply go back to the content that you have created, select it, and here you will be given the editing purposes for it. If you notice up top here, you can upload your course image. And again, if you needed to, you can also make edits to the reference code. You can select inactive dates. You can add this to content library. You can select a specific language for it. A lot of fantastic features for you to use. This has been the how to make a training module for Paycor. If you are watching this for training purposes at CCLS, please feel free to reach out to your IT department for more help, or if you are watching this on YouTube, please feel free to leave your comments or questions in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.